Hello folks, today we are going to analyze three soil samples um, in order to look at texture by feel. Uh, so when we do that, we take our dry samples that have been um, run through a mortar and pestle so they're smooth and any large chunks are broken up. Uh, and we add water and perform some different tests and go through our flow chart. So what you'll be doing on your lab is as I run through each soil sample, you'll be writing down your observations and working through the flowchart and identifying the type of particle. Here are two controls and then a sample from Virginia soil for us to identify. So when we are doing our analysis, we take our dry samples and we put some in the palm of our hand and we add some water and we knead them up. And the first thing we look at is that ball stage. So when I squeeze this together, does my sample stay in, in that ball? And we can see that even though it is moist um, and I can squeeze it together, that ball shape is not holding itself together. Um, and based on our flow chart, that is actually the only test we need to run on that control. To look at our second sample, again, I can look at my particles here. They are quite finely ground, so there aren't any large chunks. And I am going to moisten and knead this sample. Um, and this one uh, does have a few more chunks in it, so it needs a little bit more kneading um, in order to get it to a smooth consistency. But already I can see a difference that when I hold this up that that ball stage stays. I have um, kneaded it, it is nice and moist. We can clearly see that it is able to hold on um, to that ball shape and does not fall apart. Uh, and now I will perform the ribbon test. So I just want to push it through with my fingers and see how long I can push it before gravity breaks my ribbon and it falls to the ground. And I can see it's sticking together really well. And as I push it through, that ribbon is sticking together. Um, and now that it has broken, I can measure it. So I have a strong ribbon that is uh, six and a half centimeters in length. So with my second sample, I have, so far I can hold it in a ball shape. I make a strong ribbon that is eight centimeters long. And the final test is to take a small sample and really wet it and feel, is it smooth, is it gritty, or is it neither? So a very silty soil, your hand really just slides over. Uh, and I am not feeling any grittiness, um, but it is not super smooth. So it is neither gritty um, nor smooth. So with our third sample, again, I have um, grounded up with the mortar and pestle to get rid of any big chunks. Uh, and I'm going to put a sample into my palm, about 25 grams. And I am going to moisten it. And I'm going to knead it. Still a little dry. So when I do squeeze it into a ball, we can see that it does in fact hold its shape. So as we continue on our uh, soil texture flow chart, we are going to look at that ribbon stage. So I have a nice kneaded ball of my unknown soil uh, and I'm going to perform the ribbon test. So I just wanna squeeze it and push through that soil and see how long it goes before gravity breaks that ribbon. And we just push it through. Uh, and so I do get a short ribbon and I can measure that. 
uh, and it is about three centimeters long, right at that two and a half, three centimeter mark. So I make a ribbon between two and a half and three centimeters. The final test we want to run then is how smooth or gritty does it feel in our hand. So I'm going to take a small sample um, and heavily moisten it and just run it through my fingers. And then I'm feeling for grittiness versus smoothness. Um, and I can feel that grittiness. I can feel those larger particles in this soil. So my unknown soil is able to form a ball, form ribbons that are three centimeters long, and feels gritty when I rub it between my fingers.